25th August to 18th of September, Venus will be in the sign of debilitation, which is in the sign of Virgo. But that's not the end. It will also be conjunct Ketu. So this is a very interesting conjunction. And that's exactly what we are going to discuss today for every ascendant. So for Aries ascendants, this transit will be in your sixth house where Venus will be in Nietzsche, conjunct Ketu. Now this is quite a difficult placement for relationships. So be on be on alert uh, when, it, when it comes to relationships. So there could be, you know, quiet uh, quarrels, you know, fights and all this, you know, with your spouse. Or if you are about to get married, then there could be some challenges uh, in uh, the wedding. Uh, or, you know, if you're going to finalize the event of wedding, maybe it's not the best time. Okay. Maybe you should do it after you know, 18th of September. That's recommended. Or there could be issues with business partnerships. But on the good side, uh, there could be uh, issues which you now actually plan to sort, okay? So this is like saying uh, there are some old issues which you now actually are working and sorting it out and you are getting to the root cause of everything, okay? Why certain issues occurred? But in general, there could be misunderstandings, uh, I mean new misunderstandings which can come, okay? And disputes can come, uh, the, so you may require patience, communication and all this. Also, if you don't have a job, then maybe this is a good time to find a job and get a job. But because of Ketu's placement, there could be a situation where uh, you get a job, but you are confused. Should you take that job or not? Okay. So therefore, if you face this situation, then don't worry. Take the job. Um, do a calculated assessment and take the risk if required. But make sure you are not uh, biting more than you can uh, chew or digest. Okay. So this is something you need to be careful and uh, you need to be a bit careful with your reproductive system or you know lower abdomen that might need some attention because sixth house as you know is the house of diseases right so try to focus on resolving the existing conflicts and try not to create new conflicts okay all the best Aries. so now taurus for taurus this transit is in your fifth house venus is in Nietzsche and kanjam ketu so this could lead to a bit distance uh, a bit of distance in your uh, existing relationships, okay? Your love life especially. Now, this may not be because of disputes, quarrels or, you know, fights. But in general, there is like a, you know, sense of dissatisfaction. And, and you're trying to figure out why this is happening. So, this is a very good time to actually figure out why are you feeling distant from your spouse, okay? Or it could be with your children also, or it could be that you are feeling a bit distant with your own self, okay? So, this is very interesting, you know, distant with, uh, distant with your own self, okay? This can also happen because fifth house is your house. It shows you basically, right? <clears throat> so, you might you know, indulge into creative pursuits and, you know, if you feel blocked, just do more meditation and, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's a good time to actually figure out or it could happen that, you are doing certain things because, you know, everybody was telling you to do or maybe you were, you were high, you were hyper optimistic about something. Okay. So therefore, you know, if you feel that things are not that great for you internally, then maybe it's time to make a change. Okay. So travel, uh, meet other people or, you know, meet some old family members or uh, old friends. Okay. And you will kind of try to find yourself. So, it's a time for rediscovery. All right, Taurus. Now, Gemini, this transit is in fourth indebility with Ketu. So, this can create some issues and disruptions in your domestic life, especially with your mother or with some close family member. Uh, there could be a sense of detachment which could come. This is like a situation where you are trying your best, but your mother is not understanding you. You can feel this, okay? So, therefore, there could be a situation, there could be a desire inside of you to detach yourself. Okay, I'll do my best and whatever my mother says, you know, that's beyond my control. And Venus gets Digbali here. Okay, so this is a house where Venus does actually fantastic, but now it is Nietzsche and with Ketu. So, 
it's like saying you know suppose you got a new house and you wanted interior design and you did it and now you thought it will be the best interior design the most attractive house in the town but guess what now you feel oh maybe something is missing okay so therefore you need to find out what is that which is missing it is not it does not have to do with you know some uh, element of beauty within the house or the car but maybe you know you are doing all this to uh, do some show off or you know to uh, yeah to to pretend to everybody that you know this is like this is uh, like uh, i want to be somebody very special okay so if that was your agenda then uh, it is very likely that uh, that could have been bashed okay <laughs> so if that is what is the reality then uh, you have to recheck on why do you want to impress others okay maybe some low self esteem uh and you know something like uh, yeah some childhood issues or traumas okay that that's important all right now cancer for you this transit is in your third house when venus is with ketu and nicha so this could create some issues in your social media accounts okay so you might fight with somebody unnecessarily or there could be some rifts with your siblings especially other females in your uh home uh, like venus can represent sister or you know anybody like your sister in law anybody you know in our indian culture it could be anybody chachi i mean uh, mummy <laughs> anybody okay <clears throat> bua anybody it could be so why i'm saying this because uh, third house represents uh, acquaintances and venus represents females and females in general or specifically females within your family okay so therefore you need to understand that now you might have to you know sort some uh, dispute which is there already okay so for example if there is something which is you know bogging you or your family member from a long time uh, then now you might have to sort it so or with your colleague or with anybody so any form of communication so you may feel there is a stress okay there is some strain so it could be anybody your father mother brother sister boss employee uh, subordinate equal senior anybody okay could be your guru also <laughs> or you know you make some video and you launch it and you know people are abusing you in the comments for some reason and you know, so you make some blunder okay or there could be some issues that you face in your travel uh, travel plans okay so travel plans may face delays or uh, cancellations so focus on your inner courage and uh, try to do some spiritual practices if you feel too much anxiety all right now leo lagna leo what's going on this transit is in your second house where venus is in debility and uh ha -huh, with ketu so this can create now um, challenges with your finances and especially with your family members okay uh, and your savings so it will depend on your dashas what is actually going on so there could be some disruptions in your you know family you know family harmony could be damaged and there could be potential conflicts in the family because of money so for example you know suppose you have some money your parents have some money and you know now you need to spend it somewhere and you know you are kind of uh, discussing what to do and uh, be careful with your speech because uh, your speech might become a bit harsh or critical which could lead to you know further uh, disruptions in the family so be careful with your speech what you speak and along with that you need to understand that venus is a very important planet for you because he is your 10th lord right so therefore um if if you feel that uh, you are not able to make good decisions for your money then try to gain some more knowledge about finance finance financial planning you know or hire somebody who can actually help you okay so take it slow you don't have to invest everything now or, and be aware of disruptions in the family okay virgo lagna virgo ascendant this transit is in your first house where venus is in nicha as he always becomes nicha in your ascendant but now he's with ketu okay so this can bring a sense of dissatisfaction in your life in regards to your appearance or your personal identity okay this is very important because you may feel a bit distant with yourself now this is a bit bizarre you know how can you feel distant with yourself 
you can because you may realize that uh, now you are suddenly feeling it, finding it difficult to do things that you know you never liked doing you know things which you never enjoyed but uh, yeah somehow you know you were doing because you know you were like you know pretending to others and uh, you you were kind of trying to show everybody that you are very special or you know you are uh, you are like the pole star okay <laughs> so <clears throat> so if there are certain things which uh, you are doing artificially maybe now is the time to let go you know especially some fancy thing you know venus shows you know fancy things and relationships in general could feel a bit distant and you might have a desire to withdraw you know from social interactions okay so it's a great time for self reflection spiritual growth and uh, now you might have to focus on uh, inner beauty and peace okay so very important time use this period properly okay libra lagna or libra venus will transit your 12th house okay so this could bring a sense of isolation or you know you could feel a bit lonely uh, especially in your relationships you could feel you know that nobody is around you are all by yourself and you know why is life so cruel <laughs> no so yeah you might feel there is a strong urge to retreat okay from the world and uh, just do spiritual practices okay you may feel ah nobody is there you know all people are just you know opportunists <laughs> you might feel like this and you might have to spend a lot of money sometimes you know uh, so be careful with your financial uh, expenditures as unexpected expenditure could arise okay so therefore this is a time where you need to focus on you know uh, inner peace and healing okay that's very important okay so therefore don't try to control situations don't try to control people don't try to you know pretend to others don't try to prove anything to anybody let things let people reveal themselves in due course of time okay that's very important otherwise if you are trying to force things it it it's not going to work all right so take care libra scorpio lagna venus is transiting 11th house great transit but in debility and with ketu problematic one also so this might cause disruptions in your you know friendships and social circles no and especially with females so you need to be careful no man somebody in the social circle may behave in a very weird way you know like for example your best friend is you know not picking up your call or he or she is you know not uh, talking to you they are showing they are very busy they are not interested or somebody said yes to you before you know yes we will do this project together or you know we will start a company together or i will give this to you or i'll hand over my contact to you and now they are backing off okay it could happen so there could be unexpected changes you know like there could be fights and quarrels with some friend or you know some uh, important contacts and uh, then you might be prompted to do a evaluation of your long term plans you know like for example to see uh, which friend is actually your friend is that person a friend or rather better off as an acquaintance or is that person is somebody backstabbing you okay so therefore if you if you are facing such a situation then don't ignore it and don't dismiss it because you might become a victim of you know bullying or narcissistic abuse or something you no know, somebody in your circles might do that to you or maybe if you are not married and you know somebody is bullying you and asking all the time when you are getting married 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 so so you will feel better i withdraw myself okay so that is something you might feel so if that is what the time demands then please do it okay next sagittarius dhanu lagna for you this transit is in your 10th house fantastic transit but in nicha and with ketu so could be a difficult one also so this could bring challenges in your career and professional life okay very 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 important so relationships with your superiors or some female in the company so some female colleague or somebody no all with authority figures might undergo some strain okay and there could be some sense of dissatisfaction within your job which you are actively feeling okay so it's important that you maintain your professionalism and avoid unnecessary conflicts so you need to understand that now you have to behave a bit more professionally so your colleagues may behave like you know ultra professionally where you know they are not 
they're not ready to help you anywhere even if you're stuck or you know you are not ready to help them if you, they are stuck okay so it could be either way uh, so therefore uh, try to maintain peace to whatever extent possible but remember that there can be some rifts within your company or uh, you might have to look for another job uh, not because you will be terminated but you know you may just feel you know that I'm done with this job you know maybe I should find some other job okay so so yes career uh, colleagues seniors uh, may require some time and attention and give the due attention that is required don't run away from it all right now Capricorn ascendants for you this transit is in your ninth house Nietzsche with Ketu so this is a great time for your spiritual uh, progress there could be some issues with your legal documents your legalities uh, or there could be some issues with long distance travel you know you may feel a sense of disconnect for your belief or spiritual practices that's very important and relationships with your mentors or you know father figures could become a bit strained okay or your father might need some more attention or there could be some dynamics with your father where you know you, you are trying to convince your father father but he's not understanding okay so do more introspection get more spiritual knowledge from your gurus and try to align your actions with your true beliefs like what do you believe in you know, what is your belief what is your vision in life so try to align your actions to your belief and your visions and your passions also okay that's very important otherwise uh, when Venus is with Ketu, Nietzsche in the trines, you can sometimes feel that. Yeah, in 5th fifth, fifth house, 9th house and in Lagna, you can feel a bit disconnect with yourself. So if you're feeling that, you know, you have kind of lost track of things in life, then it's okay. I mean, do your best and leave the rest to God because 9th house is the house of God, all right? So God is wanting to teach you detachment and let him teach that to you in the way that he thinks is right, okay, or the best, okay? Aquarius Ascendant, Kumbha Lagna, this transit is in your 8th house, Nietzsche and with Ketu, tough one. <laughs> this can bring in like intense emotional ex experiences, uh, issues with joint finances, inheritance or deep psychological issues or some, yeah, some past lover could come back into your life, you know. Or some past issues which were, you know, like, which you have to kind of address, but now you are addressing them, okay, or you should address them. So, there could be issues related to, you know, inheritance or, you know, there could be like trauma, narcissism, all these things could be there. Somebody may try to bully you, okay. Some female or somebody may try to put some false allegation against you, okay. It, it could be possible. So there, so you need to cultivate a sense of like, you know, detachment and letting go of things. Otherwise, uh, what will happen is you will not be able to heal yourself. Okay. So try to heal yourself and uh, you need to understand that everybody is not your friend and everybody will not be your friend and everybody cannot be your friend and everybody need not be your friend, you know. So therefore, if you feel that people are just, you know, behaving with you like as if you are a doormat then you need to withdraw and you need to show to them that you know you are also existing you are somebody you know nobody can abuse you nobody can you know like uh, torment you you know unless you have done something wrong you know, then they may take out their grudge on you in some ways but if you are if you are not at fault then you should not let people abuse you all right so take care a challenging placement but it's okay it's it's not for the rest of the life, all right? Pisces Lagna, mean Lagna, seventh house. Ooh, another difficult one. Nietzsche with Ketu, right? So this could bring challenges uh, in your partnerships and relationships specifically, you know, which could lead to feelings of detachment. So this is a very peculiar situation where maybe nothing is wrong, but still you are feeling that something is wrong. So this is not more like a place uh, where there are like too many disputes but there is a untold tension within both of you okay or maybe there is some issue like if you are not married then there is a confusion should I marry should I not marry should I marry him should I marry her what should I do okay 
So therefore, th this this can be like a subtle problem. Okay, very important. So there, the, you might feel that you need to withdraw from the marriage. You know, not like get a separation or divorce, get separated or you know, file for a divorce. But you may feel you know that. You have kind of lost yourself and, you know, you are trying your best to find yourself within the relationship, but you have kind of lost yourself, okay? So maybe it's a time to work on yourself, you know, self-reflection, spiritual growth. And uh, it's a time where you try to find out what was that which made you uh, get into this marriage or relationship in the first place and reevaluate that, all right? So thank you very much, everybody. Please take care. Jai Siya Ram.